So sometimes people ask, what's the best way to prepare for a sermon? And the first thing to say is, well, it varies hugely according to the person preaching and their, their situation. Just like every congregation is different, which should mean that even a sermon on the same text will be different if it's a different congregation. So each preacher is different and we all have different ways of working. And one of the wonderful things about preaching is how God uses all those different ways and all different personalities to share his word. Uh, so there's no right way. Uh, as I think about some of the things that I think I've learned over the years, I think it's important not to jump too quickly to deciding what needs to be said or how you're going to say it. And this relates to what I was saying about expository preaching, because before we can speak God's word, we need to listen for God's word. Um, now, that's a process that is mysterious and complex. It doesn't just happen when you're sitting, staring at a computer screen or even um, uh, sitting or kneeling or however you pray, praying. It, it happens, you know, in all those in-between times when you're going around your daily business. But the important thing, I think, is not to not to decide too early just what is to be said. And the knock-on effect of that is to try to get an idea, if possible, and no, it's not always possible, but to get an idea well in advance um, of when you're going to be preaching and what you're going to be preaching on, um, whether you're being given a text or whether you have to choose it uh, or, or topic. So it gives you time to think and, and prepare and to study the text carefully. Um, some texts will become very familiar as we become more seasoned Christians and preachers, obviously. But it's amazing how new insights will always come because we, we bring new experience to bear on our understanding. So we need to read and think about the text, but we also need to allow our own creativity to come into play. When I talked about listening to the text, exposing it, I think it's all very important to have, bring the other side into this, that we shouldn't feel, if you like, imprisoned um, and almost constricted inside as if, you know, if we put a foot wrong, somebody's going to come down on us like a ton of bricks from on high or maybe from our congregation and, and, uh, and you know, criticise us or, or judge us or something like that. I think it's really important. And I think God gives us this freedom to wrestle, to engage with his word. And as our congregation see us doing that, they, they are liberated to do that as well. It's not just a blueprint or a rule book. It's a book that we enter into conversation with, which challenges us, which puzzles us, which annoys us sometimes, which may offend us, as well as giving us deep comfort and hope. And so we need to find a way as we prepare of allowing that, some of that creativity to come into play. And some people give ideas like one writer has talked about doing different things with the text, um, like, for example, writing a journal on it. So making notes each day on just very spontaneous, you know, what's it, what's it say to me? Um, or taking the text for a walk, thinking about it as you go down to the shops or go on a run or something. Um, how does, how does the, the text speak to the situations that I'm experiencing and perceiving? around me in my daily life and what are they saying to the text how how will that interaction help the message of the text come alive so letting those creative juices flow um, not being too not feeling too constricted um, I think that's really important um, 
And for me personally, the other end of the process is important as well. I don't really want to be doing my final preparation only minutes before it's delivered. I, I, I like to sort of basically finish off. And if it's a Sunday sermon, you know, I like to have it basically ready by Friday late afternoon, give myself a bit of a break, and then just return to it Saturday evening briefly, just to refresh it, familiarise myself, um, maybe tweak one or two bits, but not, not nothing too heavy. So I know basically it's done. And that helps me then to go calmly into Sunday. But we're all different. And some people may thrive on the, the last minute adrenaline. I don't know. That's how it's like for me. Thank you.